Hello, my name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Self Storage Quick Start Academy. I support people who are getting in the self storage business or people who want to grow their self storage business. Creating Wealth Through Self Storage.com, lots of free training and resources to support you the self storage quick start academy.com lots of courses designed to support you in getting in or growing your self storage business but i want to talk about one thing that really annoys me i hate calling companies getting a computerized answer machine where I have to punch names or divisions or digits in to try to get to a human being to talk to. Nothing frustrates me more. I just hang up unless it's somebody I have to talk to like a phone company or a cable company. But if I call your storage company, for example, and get that, I hang up. So I did not want to be that company with our storage business. As I've shared a lot of the materials that we use in the self storage business, one of the things, line items on our performers are call centers. And I've had a lot of you all ask me about a call center. Should I use a call center? Well, here's my answer to that. It depends. What? It depends on primarily your business strategy, where you want to position yourself in your sub-market and in the market itself. As full disclaimer, I have two brands and one of them uses a call center, the other one doesn't. That's primarily because of the partnership in each one, in each of the two different brands has two different philosophies on using a call center. I, for the longest time, resisted call centers and did not like them. Uh, why? Well, because when we go into any particular sub-market, one of the things we do is we call all our competitors. And often the competitors that we called that had a call center, it was very annoying. They would pester you for a close, call you back. It was, everything was close, close, close. And I did not want my customers to get that experience. Yes, I have a lot of respect for that. Yes, I know that it's important to close on the phone. It's important to get an appointment. I just did not like the experience I had because usually somebody who really had no interest and no vested emotional interest in that storage facility was closing on me. There was no connectivity with me. There was no connecting and understanding my needs. It was just, what do you need? Come in, come in, come in, close, close, close. I did not want our customers to experience that. So I avoided them for a long time. Then I found out that many of those call centers are compensated based on how many appointments they get. Then it uh, made sense to me. I respect closing. I know in our facilities, if you come and show up for an appointment, you have a 93% chance of signing a lease. That's our statistic. So I know how important it is. I just did not like the experience as a customer. Then I found out there were call centers that were not compensated based on how many appointments you have. And I tested them out and the experience wasn't anything like I thought it would be. So we ran a test. We wanted to see if a call center really made a difference and what the return on our cost was. So we took our largest facility. This facility had over 950 customers at the time and we get a lot of phone calls. And we took a quarter and we ran a test using this call center. What we found is on the anywhere from three to five new leases were signed using the call center after hours. And also any of our current customers after hours who were having issues at the facility or billing issues, someone was there to help them. So we made the decision with that brand that we would institute call centers. Now, ultimately we did it because 
in our business strategy, we want to be the most expensive self storage product in any sub market. And to do that, it requires first class customer service, a well kept facility, high end security features, and we felt that the call center fit right in with that business strategy. Now, there's a valid argument. Look, everybody's over 90% full. We don't even have units to rent if somebody answers the phone. I get that. But just remember my prediction, this 93% occupancy isn't going to last forever. Position yourself now so that you can deal with any turn in the market. That is our relationship to using a call center for us. Now, there's another reason why you should consider using a call center. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do for you, but you should consider it. And here's why. Reach use call centers. Try to piggyback on what the REITs do as much as possible. Why? Because nothing a REIT does is by accident. Everything is by design. Believe me, they know what their return on cost is for having a call center. They know what, how much money they're going to make selling tenant insurance when they open a facility. They are awesome at measuring stuff and they're awesome at doing initial studies up front. Front. So when you go into a market where a REIT is, you know that that's a sub market that can support high end self storage. So that's another reason. But ultimately, it depends on your business strategy, where you want to be positioned in the sub market and where you want your company positioned in the industry. When someone asks me, should I have a call center or not? That is my long-winded answer to it depends. It depends on what? It depends on your business strategy and where you want to fit in in your sub-market with this facility and your company. So my name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, which is a great financial analysis tool that helps us and you analyze self-storage facilities, analyze land to build self-storage facilities on. We use it because it helps us, informs us what we can pay to achieve our desired business strategy, and it really helps us get financing with the banks. Go to storageworldanalyzer.com creatingwealththroughselfstorage.com. See if this is a tool that can support you. Thank you very much. Let me know your challenges, your successes. I love hearing from you. See you later.